Hi, my name is Casey Boyd. I'm a library media specialist. I work for the District of Columbia Public Schools system, and I work at Jefferson Academy located in Southwest DC in Ward 6. And today I have another wonderful read aloud. And you can see in my library, it's changed once again. Even though I'm a middle school librarian, uh, I've been reading a lot of um, books that are geared towards my uh, younger readers, which are my pre-K roughly to about third graders, um, third grade reading level. And the reason why I'm doing this is this reason specifically. Uh, many of my students are babysitting their younger brothers and sisters. And my hope is, is that they will log on to my YouTube channel or my um, in, uh, Instagram TV channel and they would turn on one of my read alouds and they can sit down with their younger brother or sister or cousin and enjoy a short read aloud together. So even though I'm a middle school librarian, I do plan on reading some uh, middle school selections for my students in the uh, weeks to come. But for right now, I know many of them are struggling uh, babysitting right now. And I thought I would just start off with a lot of primary books to really get kids engaged in reading and uh, listening to read alouds um, through um, my various delivery methods of YouTube, IGTV, live, and so on. So on that note, um, just to tell you a little bit about what you see up here, uh, this uh, library belongs to my niece and nephew. And I try and change it every time I do a read aloud. And then in this case, um, the Trolls movie just came out. So my niece and nephew are really crazy about Trolls. And I have a couple of their little toys and things that they enjoy. So uh, I try and change this out every time I do a read aloud so you guys can see the different types of books that are in their uh, library collection. And there's many more in the house. It's just that I decided to decorate this one bookcase so everybody can see it. So let's begin. This is such a cute little book. Um, I actually met the author and got her to autograph a copy for my niece, which was really cool. And I met her at one of the ALA, American Library Association uh, conferences. So the name of this book is called Mary Had, not a little lamb, but Mary Had a Little Glam. I thought this was so cute. <laughs> so this is Mary Had a Little Glam. And it's written by Tammy Saucer, illustrated by Vanessa Brantley Newton. And you guys are going to enjoy this because the illustrations are so cute. Meow, is that your curtain? But on the day she started school, she caught some by surprise. Sweet Mary shrugged and hugged her mom. I must, I must accessorize. Oh, yeah, she's a little diva, isn't she? Cute as can be with the little pigtails. Then Mary click, 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 down the block in a frilly formal wear. And by the time she got to the school, she added a little flair. Look at that flair that this little girl and added. It's so cute. <laughs> So she's, she attends Mother Goose Elementary School. Did you catch that? I thought that was really cute. When Mary took a look around, her heart was filled with woe. The other kids in the class with her were glamless head to toe. So look at the classroom jobs. Messenger, Little Boy Blue, Snack Helper, Georgie Porgy. Sheep Keeper, Little Bo Peep. <laughs> so Mary offered fashion tips. More pink, more beads, more shine. A hat for him, a trim for her. Go, Boa, it's divine. Every diva has got to have what? A boa. That is just too cute. So Mary brought out glitz and glam in everyone she met. The students, the teacher, the principal, and Clark, even the classroom pet. <laughs> so that pet, classroom pet is a what? It's a snake. Yuck, a snake. 
Now story time had gowns and crowns and mounds of striped chiffon. The art class came with glittery glue and trips to her salon. Diva, 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 Afro puff down. <laughs> then Mary amped up the, up the music class with pomp and circumstance. At checkout time, she was sublime, let not a thing to chance. The morning flew and soon it was the best part of the day. It's recess time, the teacher said, and Mary led the way. Oh yeah, she's a little leader. Uh-huh, look at her. <laughs> Got a little arm in the air with the, holding the umbrella. Oh yeah, she's a trip. But all came to a sudden stop. Each kid surveyed the scene. We're clearly dressed, all wrong for this. Boo-hoo, the 17. Poor Mary twirled her parasol. A parasol is also known as an umbrella. This crisis was a 10. She'll never forget, figure out a plan. All was lost, but then, let's see what happens. Uh-oh, see what happens with Mary, the diva. She tossed her shades and, and silk-lined cape, her scarf and strappy shoes. And Mary's friends were just as fast. There was no time to lose. The class raced for the jungle gym, the spiral slide and swings. Then Mary grinned and grabbed the ball among some other things. Now Mary's flair for what to wear is better than before. True glamour call, often calls for lots, but sometimes less is more. I thought this was so cute and look, the author actually signed it. I was like, oh wow, this is so wonderful. So, this is a wonderful book. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me share my screen with you because I'd like to talk to you about how you can access books that are very similar in nature to this book. And again, our selection was Mary Had a Little Glam. And it's written by Tammy Saucer with permission from Sterling Children's Books. And there's a lot of ways that you can access uh, eBooks in, um, uh, during DCPS at home. Well, there's one way you can do it. You can access your child's Clever account or you can log directly into DCPS file at destiny.com. So there's two different ways, Clever or actually logging into file at destiny.com. Parents, if your child is uh, doing a lot of online work, they're automatically going into Clever. You will be able to find the icon for Destiny in that Clever um, uh, landing page. Once you log on to Destiny using your child's credentials as, she, as they signed in to um, Clever, then you're just going to scroll down on the left side of the screen, find your school name, click on your school name and then sign in again using your students, your child's credentials, and you're going to sign directly into uh, Destiny. Once you do that, you'll be able to search for a myriad of books, and these are eBooks. Now here's the thing that's really wonderful about this platform. You can sign in using your, your uh, cell phone, a tablet or iPad, a laptop computer, desktop computer. As long as you can sign in using some type of device, you can access all of these ebooks, which is absolutely wonderful. So, if you need any support or if you would like to just uh, check out more of the read alouds that I'll be doing, you can contact me through social media. I can be found at boss underscore librarian at Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. 
if you need assistance in uh, contacting your school librarian or maybe parents, you don't know who the school librarian is, you have a younger child, like a kindergarten through third grader, and they need a little help trying to get in contact with the school librarian, well, email us at dcpslibrarians at gmail.com. You know, clearly indicate the name of your school and we will help you connect with your assigned librarian. Also, too, I want you to bring to your attention Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. on Fox Plus, which is WDCA TV. You can um, enjoy Learning Doesn't Stop Lessons on TV. This is a partnership with the Washington Teachers Union and Fox 5, Washington, D.C., Plus, where teachers are actually teaching lessons on television. These are recorded lessons. It's for 30 minutes a day, Monday through Friday, and they uh, span kindergarten through 12th grade across the curriculum. Really nice platform. It's, it's one that should be checked out every day. So please try and have your, your child watch it every day. On another note, uh, the DC Public School Librarians really do need your support. If you would log on to saveschoollibrarians.org forward slash DC School Librarians, we would really appreciate if you sign the petition to support us uh, returning in the fall, uh, where all of us will be able to come back and service our school communities, which includes our students, of course, our teachers, and our parent and parents and communities. I hope you've enjoyed today's presentation of Mary Had a Little Glam. Please make sure that you log on to the DCPS Destiny Catalog and you'll be able to find more books that are very similar in nature to this one. So until next time, thank you for tuning in. Have a good one. Bye-bye now.